President Trump's national security adviser, H.R. McMaster, he laid out America's strategy on North Korea. Watch this, Ambassador. So the President has directed us to, to not do that and, and to prepare a range of options, including a military option, which nobody wants to take, right? The threat is much more immediate now. And so, so it, it's clear that we can't repeat the same approach, failed approach of the past. So what would be a military approach? Well, the argument is that uh, North Korea is very close to having uh, the capability to drop nuclear warheads on the United States via ballistic missile. And uh, one option would be to go in and destroy the, uh, the launch areas, the test facilities, uh, and some of the nuclear facilities. The danger is that in retaliation, uh, North Korea could easily attack the northern suburbs of Seoul, which are right across the demilitarized zone from North Korea. Uh, and I think everybody agrees it's not a happy option. But the fact is uh, we've failed for 25 years uh, because of diplomatic efforts to chit-chat North Korea out of nuclear weapons. Well, and I think what McMaster's saying is uh, we can't do that anymore, although we haven't uh, it, look, launched a different strategy if they yet. Could, if they can threaten Los Angeles with an ICBM, with a nuclear tip, aren't we justified in shooting down any missile that they uh, set out over, over the Sea of Japan? We could sure. do that. Yeah. And, sure. And if we had an effective national missile defense program, I'd be confident we could do that. But after eight years of the Obama administration, mm. uh, funding of, of what the Bush administration had started was uh, gutted, basically. So, no, we don't have adequate missile defenses at the moment. Okay. Mr. Ambassador, thanks for joining us, sir. Appreciate Glad you being with us. Yes, sir.